Go ahead. All right, so we're going to make a bowl today. So I'm going to start by centering my piece of clay. Uh, and we'll get this going and doming a little bit. Contact points, not using my whole hands. This clay's a little bit stiff, so I'm gonna come up and down one more time. Alright. When we're centering for a bowl, we want to center the width of a bottom of our bowl. So if I want a low wide bowl, I'm gonna center a low wide cake. Um, but I'm going to start with something like that, and then we're going to dive in, and find the right depth, stop, and measure. I like to leave a little bit more clay on the bottom of my bowls than uh, I do on my mugs, because I like to trim a foot onto my bowl. Now I'm going to bring out and curve, put a curve on the bottom of the bowl. And I come out like this because it automatically puts a curve in it instead of my normal opening. And now I'm going to compress the clay here and get the curve down at the bottom. Pretty close to what I want, but I am going to do some alterations later, but I want to get it nicely packed down and get all the work done that needs to happen down here before I make a bowl. Alright, so we have the bottom of our curve started a little bit steep there. Alright, now we're going to pull the thickness of our walls. I collar it in and fix my rim, and we're ready for our first pull. I'm going to set my finger down and move that clay out over the finger, and then bring that from bottom to top. Notice I'm allowing my rim to be wider than the rest of the form. Um, we're going bowl. If I were doing anything but a bowl, I would collar that in right now. But now since we're doing a bowl, I'm not going to collar that in. I set my moisture on the inside with a sponge, and now I'm going to bulge out. Go from bottom to top. I'm going to leave my rim a little bit thicker than the rest of the piece. So my rim is almost twice the thickness of the form. I'm going to go for one last pull. I'm going to grab a little bit of this skirt with a scoop on the outside and now thin out that stuff down at the bottom. And that's the last of the water I really want to use for um, my bowl. I'm going to go ahead and scrape any excess water off the outside. And because my skirt's going to be hard to reach later on, I'm going to go ahead and cut some of my skirt off now. So I've got a little bit less trimming, a little less trimming work to do. All right, so we have a beginning cylinder, and I'm going to first start off with a very steep rice bowl shape, and then I'm going to transform it into a, a, a wider um, cereal bowl form. So I'm going to start off on my rim and bring my rim out first, and then dive in a little bit. I want my rim out a little bit wider. And then I could go all the way down, and if you want to poke that camera on the inside for a little bit, um, and I can begin to stay, you know, start connecting my wall curve to my bottom curve, but I don't want my bottom curve to be too horizontal just yet. I want it kind of steep. I could stop and say um, that uh, this is the rice bowl shape that I want. You know, this is more of a rice bowl form but I'm going for a cereal bowl, so I'm gonna to continue to bring this out. Um, I'm gonna bring my rim out a little bit more, and then make this curve a little bit more gradual down here. I want my rim even wider, and now I'm gonna come down and set this curve. This inside curve is your only concern when you're making a bowl in the beginning. The outside curve, we will trim to the inside curve. If there's a difference on the inside and the outside, it's because of the difference in thickness of walls and we're going to fix that um, later. So I'm going to go ahead and come down and smooth that out. 
Now this last little part down here, I will switch to a finger, and of course the finger, I almost hold on to it like another tool with my other hand, and I can go ahead and make this curve, a nice curve down here. Uh, all right, we're gonna call that good enough. And lastly, we're gonna finish our rim. So if you'll notice, I threw my cylinder with you know standard amount of water, I stopped using water and scraped all my slurry off before I went to shaping, and now for my rim I'm going to start to introduce some water. So I could start with a simple rim, you know, and just clean this up and do something like that, but I've been making uh, just a little bit of a drop off, you know, a little bit of a flange here at the edge of my bowls. I spill a little less cereal if I've got this little edge because I have a tendency to fill my bowl to maximum capacity for some reason. And I like a little decorative line there. And that is uh, a simple bowl form. You can get it stopped.